Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review on the new 2023 Butcher. This guy at Flagship, I really wanted him once they showed the leaks because I thought he looks pretty cool. He has his cleaver in this arm, well, this hand and just normal other hand. He was an animatronic in 2020 for the Reaper Island, I think it was. Uh, but I'm gonna get into the unboxing of him, so. Like, same as Monkey Chimes, he is actually back there now. Uh, but you just need to undo these zip ties, and then he's basically out of the box. Um, well, he's, it's not even a box, but here he is. I like to collect kind of the dolls. I have Hugs and uh, Punk and Nestor, and now I have the Butcher, so that's pretty cool. Here he is up close. I will do more of a close-up with the review, but here he is. He does have one saying, so I will do that. You just need to squeeze his belly and then you talk. He's pretty cool. He doesn't move like monkey chimes, but none of none of the animatronic dolls do move but yeah but now i'm gonna get into the review on the butcher doll okay so i'm gonna do the review over here just because i was trying to make him lean against up right there but he kept falling so that's not that good but right here he's kind of propped up uh, against the pillows but i'm gonna start the review with the good things about the butcher doll so like how i did with the monkey chimes i'm gonna start with the details so they basically got this spot on with uh the original butcher um the butcher animatronic uh it looks amazing the pig face all like the nostrils uh the teeth the eyes, uh, I think that's like the exact same squint he had. He has some stitches right there. His apron even has some blood on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, and his cleaver has some blood. Uh, the arms are pretty cool too. They're just gloves, but yeah. And then he's got some foam feet uh, or foam shoes. And then he has some like uh, blood details. I think that's blood. I think it's supposed to be blood on his blue shirt but yeah so that was it for the details on the butcher doll okay so another good thing about the butcher doll is actually his head act can actually move like to the side forward um yeah pretty cool i think all the dolls do that yeah they do all do that but they're i like that the dolls do that it's just because you can actually pose them more you can put his arm up here the arms are not posable but you can make him just lean against your pillow or your bed, anything you want. And he looks pretty cool. You can, like, pose him. I'm definitely going to try to use him in my haunt this year. Uh, kind of getting off topic, but, yeah, he looks amazing. So now I'm going to compare him to the original 2020 Butcher animatronic. So I think the only thing that is different with this guy is his clothing. Uh, this is a little darker shirt and his, the original Butcher, was like a light blue, which isn't a big difference. Also, his apron actually didn't have blood on it. I think it just had some stains. It wasn't actually blood. So, I mean, I like the blood more. I like that they added the blood instead of uh, just the stains. But if we were going off of uh, the realistic of, like, what they look like together, uh, I kind of wish they just added the stains because I like that they just remodeled them. Uh, but, yeah, that's basically the only thing that is different with the original Butcher animatronic. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the not-so-good things about the Butcher. So, first of all, his cleaver is really not the best quality. It is very flimsy, uh, and I'm afraid that it's going to, like, come off of this piece, the handle, because how flimsy it is. So, you really got to be careful with that. Uh, it might just be mine. Probably not, but... Yeah, so that's basically the only bad thing. There is one more thing about him that I don't exactly like, but there is a reason to it that it is okay. So what I was saying with the other thing is I wish he said a little bit more. Uh, what I'm saying is, like, it's okay because, like, they're going off of the original Butcher, and I think he only had one saying anyway. I don't know why. Um, 
So I'm kind of going off of the original one. I kind of wish they added a little bit more sayings so we could have more on this one. Uh, but he does have uh, one saying, which I did show in the intro. But I am going to do one more demo of him. So I will do that right now. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have one more of these videos coming of the Gargoyle Activation Switch. Should be coming tomorrow if I do finish editing that video. Uh, but I overall, I think he's amazing. I love that they make all the animatronics into dolls and I bet they're gonna have more next year. Uh, but you guys can follow me on Instagram, Haunted Halloween Guy, no spaces to see some exclusive content over there. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.